Hello everyone, nice to have you back for another episode of our 107 channel. Today's topic, we will continue with another chapter of our KI Chetronic series. Today we'll measure the fuel pressure at the upper and the lower chamber of the flow divider. We will get an overview over the fuel system starting at the pumps, checking on the working pressure, target pressure and why there is a difference between them, as well as how long in minutes the holding pressure has to be provided, for example, for how long can the fuel pressure be maintained after switching off the engine and at what pressure. In a previous video some time ago, we were checking the fuel pressure between pump 1 and pump 2 to see which pump is not working. Related to this video, we were measuring in another chapter of this KI series the fuel pressure which ends up at the intake port of the upper chamber of the fuel divider. Several drop-down tables will be shown during this video for your orientation. Well, I suggest we start right after the introduction. Please stay put. Back again, here we are, here at the lower chamber of the fuel divider, a pressure gauge was connected to the test port and at the intake port of the upper chamber we connected a pressure gauge at the port of the cold start valve. Let us fire up the engine to see the difference of those two measurements. <laughs> Alles dicht. 6,2 Oberkammer. I have switched off the engine a half an hour ago. We still have a 3.2 bar pressure in the upper chamber. According to the Benz manual, we need 3.0 bar, which we do have in this very case. So we have checked the different pressures in the lower chamber in comparison to the upper chamber of the fuel divider. We have checked it while the engine was running, immediately after it was shut off and 30 minutes later to check how much pressure is being maintained after a half an hour. The gauge for the upper chamber was connected to the port of the cold start valve. In the lower chamber the pressure gauge was bolted in a provided test port. We saw that the lower chamber has a 0.5 bar less pressure in comparison to the upper chamber. With the second test we have checked the holding pressure which the engine switched off. With the third test we checked the pressure after 30 minutes and it maintained pressure at a 3.0 bar which is just fine. All this can be accomplished without bypassing the fuel pump relay while the engine is running. Some weeks ago in June 2022 I went to see my friend Olaf in Tuscany to help him out with his Burgundy Red 560. Actually Olaf insisted that the color was not Bordeaux but Chianti. Since we are in Italy to say Bordeaux is a faux pas for sure. My special thanks go to Olaf who generously provided me with 5 crates of Chianti from his own vineyard. I had my kids sit on the crates to smuggle them unsuspiciously across the border. I will have a bottle right after this video, thanks to Olaf. If you have liked this video, I would appreciate a subscription or a thumb up. Cheers everyone, salute!